Okay, we're at Willow Avenue and Main Street, Willow Park. You gotta cut across the street to the trail. There's the skate park. Once you're through the skate park, through the parking lot of the skate park, you're gonna find a little gateway opening. And it's been raining pretty heavy today, so the situation out there could be anything really. Once you're on the nature trail, turn right. Tide's going down. It was way up earlier. Oh, maybe all the way down. It's looking pretty down. It's got that sad look about it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, there's actually like a road that goes here too. I don't know if it's private or not. It says it's private, private crossing. So right there, that's Main Street. Just down from the park, there's an actual drive. But the gate's locked. So you have to get out and walk at the gate. Once you're at the actual road pass, You'll see a dike in that road. You want to go on top of the dike. Follow the little bird. This way. Up and over the dike. Ignore the dike paths. That's the Wolfville Harbor there. Mud Harbor or something like that. Oh, this is a mess today from the rain. We're investing some rubber boots. Mmm. Smells fresh. You just keep on walking out this way. You gotta follow the harbor edge. Well, not the exact edge, but you know, the path along the edge. Oh man. This is definitely wet today. It's crazy. Usually it's a little more dry out here. I hope I don't get eaten by the flats. Oh, I look crazy. Cloud bank on. Something. Got a runny nose from eating too much food. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Wee! It's slippery. <sighs> Weird oily stuff. We're getting close to where you want to turn 
turn a bit. Oh, there's more of that oil stuff. Looks like oil slick along it. Sweet mother. Oh yeah, that's it right there. Oh, I should have worn my boots today. This is ridiculous. Okay. Bunch more of the oil slicky stuff. Like streams of it. It's weird. It wasn't up further before. Alright. Well. Somebody's drink bottle. Okay. Ah, that was way harder to do today. Here's the first pool. Man, they are way bigger. Look at that. Jeez. So yeah, these pools fill up each day. For sure. I don't know how much of this is just from the rain. See if we can't catch the fishes. Get my little net ready. Alright, any fish in there? How deep is that? Shoe mosquito. The water is clearer today, so it's definitely changing. Each day there's that black muck. Oh, the water is pretty smelly today. Even by like smelly salt water standards. Seen some fish jumping in here. I haven't caught any yet. Nope. So the water refreshes each day with the tide and with the rain. It retains quite a bit and it drains down out over there. And that's doing the same. And according to Google Earth, the map, there's that water out there extends way, way, way out. So, it's weird that there's dead fishes, and a lot of fishes, and the birds aren't eating them. And now I'm catching no fishes. Even though I'm certain I just saw a few fishes on approaching. Although even over there, it's looking pretty not full of fishes. No, not a single fish in my net today. Must be doing pretty bad at it today then. Go try the other one. Fishes are out there. And there's the oil stuff. 
Oil stuff, oil stuff. Weird little orb things. Probably some kind of eggs or something. I don't see any crabs today at all. Huh. There's no rock to throw about. One one fish over there. Oh yeah, that's pretty freaky how still this is. There's more water in it than there ever was and less fishes. <coughs> Normally when we walk out this path, there's tons and tons and tons of dead crabs that get washed up with the tide and then die from exposure. But today, there isn't even any like crab corpses. It's bizarre. There is this oily shit running along the path from the land where the black clay is. We found a dead crab. One. Oh, there's the tother. So two. And we're way far away from where the oil slicky stuff is. Interesting. We're currently knee deep in what I'm pretty sure is genetically modified crops which are all around the town and there's some kind of a smell going on. It smells like sour, like banana peels and stuff. Oh, there's some more of that black plant coincidentally right on a cornfield. Oh, it stinks out here though. Like I know there's a lot of farm smells but this one has a distinct ripeness to it. Ugh. It smells like burning, sour, putrid old banana peels. Ugh. With a hint of mango. And baby poop. Postscript. When I moved here last summer, these fields were full of partridges. Now there are none, and it's only been one year. Where'd all the perjurers go? I've seen one of them exploded down that way from something. Wonder if it exploded from BT pesticide filled insects. That stuff makes their stomachs explode. Would it actually make the whole partridge explode like a cartoon? Doubtful. But those legs were exploded away from the body which wasn't present because I'm presuming it exploded or was eaten by a cat and that is the story of genetically modified bullshit food